What's going on guys? Killer6 back with a legendary item guide on the yellow cake. In this video, I'll cover how to get it, break down how the weapon works, and cover some of the other things that you should be on the lookout for with this weapon. So let's get right into it. The yellow cake is a legendary rocket launcher manufactured by COV and the red text reads, I'm really more of a pie person. The weapon's name is a reference to yellow cake, which is a powder byproduct of processing uranium, which is extremely dangerous. The red text, however, is probably another gearbox developer inside joke that we just don't understand. Understand. This gun's special ability is that it fires energy orbs in a arcing trajectory that explode on impact and deal radiation splash damage. The orbs will split into two at a set distance, and each orb will again split into two in total four orbs or eight orbs with the more prefix, the times two prefix. Each split can cause an explosion that deals radiation splash damage. So realistically, you want to get this thing at the right distance to do the most damage. The stats on this one at Mayhem 10 level 72 are 97,705 damage times two, 60% accuracy, 72% handling, repair time of 5.3 seconds, fire rate is 0.87 shots per second, and shots to break is 22. The version I have here is a times two and it will consume two ammo per shot. You can also roll this thing without the times two and it will just be one ammo per shot. This gun will always be radiation only and it cannot spawn in any other element and it cannot be non-elemental. This gun can spawn with splash damage annoyments. Keep that in mind because that will make this very strong. This gun can also have three different splash damage radiuses, either 229, 275, as you see on this card right here, or 330. Obviously the bigger the splash damage radius, the better, except if you are inside that radius, in which you will not have a good time. In terms of parts, this thing can spawn with a lot of parts. You want to obviously go for the splash damage radius. You want damage to be high. You want the times two prefix and also either fire rate, reload speed or mag size. All would be very helpful on this gun. To farm this gun, you will need to enable the cartels event. To do that on your main screen, hit play, then scroll down and enable events and then go until you see the cartels event has been enabled. Next, you need to speak to Maurice in Sanctuary. He's the Sauron that lives in the little room across the way from Tannis's lab and right next door to Hammerlock. He's located right here on your map. Now, after speaking to Maurice, you're going to get a mission to hunt cartel members across the galaxy and collect the rings that you can use then to open up the gate to get into Vila Ultraviolet. There's a couple of quick and easy spots you can go to collect the rings needed to access Vila Ultraviolet and take on Joey, the cartel leader. One of the fastest ways to get the rings that you need in order to access the portal to go into the cartels event is to go to the slaughter maps those are very fast and easy i also like the trial of supremacy that one is really good and easy for those and also the mallow one takedown those are my favorite spots to go to to get the rings quickly and easily fight your way through the map following the objective nothing crazy nothing out of the ordinary here but when you get to the final fight this is where i have a way for you to farm what you're after super fast when the fight with joey and his minions begins he will send out too many bosses one at a time at first. They can be Fish Slap or Tyrone, who can both drop the Fish Slap Grenade, the Yellow Cake Launcher, and the Watson Shield. Josie Bites or Franco Firewall, who can both drop the OPQ System, Needle Gun, and Firewall Shield. Roaster or the Tenderizer, who can both drop the No Pew Pew, Ice Burger, and Grease Trap. So depending on which items you're after, you're going to want a certain pair of mini bosses to spawn here. Luckily, if you don't get the pair that you want, then you can literally save and quit to reload the area so you can get a brand new set of mini bosses. But here's where the second part of the farming trick comes in. After killing the mini bosses, leave Joey alive. You can now either let Joey kill you, or if you want to save cash in the game, then you can just fast travel back to the start of the map. This will reset the fight, meaning that the mini bosses will respawn and they will now be the exact same two that you had before you died or traveled. Now, just drop back in and rinse and repeat, killing the mini bosses until you get the drops that you're after. It's important to note that you do not want to save and quit once you have the two mini bosses that you want, because once you save and quit, those bosses will reset and become different bosses each time. This gun lends itself brilliantly to Moe's mains. You guys will have a lot of fun on this with Moe's. Zane can also make good use of this, especially if you're running some sort of speedy zane build where you can shoot this thing run and get extra damage while you're moving fast amara does okay with it and flak does too but it's mostly a moe's and zane toy in my opinion annoyments you should be on the lookout for are obviously splash damage annoyments any kind of character specific annoyments that will boost for your build action skill active 100 damage is very good 150 damage on enemies over 90 percent health is also decent on this gun as well with cartels becoming a permanent event now go out and farm yourself 
yourself this gun look for as many variants as possible try and get the best damage and the times two multiplier and look for those anointments this gun is a lot of fun probably not going to replace your back burner anytime soon but there's a lot of really good rocket launchers in the game right now we got a lot of options to choose from so it's more about what works best for your play style than anything else and again if you can learn to get the right distance on this thing you can do some crazy damage with it i hope this guide to the yellow cake was helpful to you if it was then please take a second to hit that like button hit subscribe and tap the bell icon for more i appreciate you guys watching i'll see you in the next one take care